Oh yeah, see this guy here. See this guy. How many of you guys can beat your chest and say you can do exactly what this guy did? This grown-up guy caught his mom cheating. Caught his mom in a bar with another man. Meanwhile, his dad is at home. Still married to his dad. No issue. But his mom went out to chill with another guy. And this man decided to do what his father supposed to have done. Helped his father to do, to carry out an investigation. And he caught his mom with another man. And according to the description of this video, according to the person who posted this video, said the guy immediately reported to his father. That daddy, I just caught your wife, my mother, with another man. How many of you go feed one? God forbid oh, you catch your mother for hotel with another man. Will you tell your dad or not? If you catch your mom in a hotel or in a bar with another man in a romantic form, or if with him, any guy at all, because if I see mom for a bar, surprise, I'll call that. I, I, I see mom for here. But now you are aware that your mother was cheating on your dad. Will you tell your dad? Will you tell your dad? And also, the other way around. As a guy man, you see your dad. <laughs> they chill for a bar with another girl. Will you call your mom and tell your mom that, ah, I just see daddy here or the chill oh, with another girl. Oh. You know, when it comes to man, it's another ball game. You know, the question is quite really difficult. But to all the ladies and uh, to all the guys here, if you see your mom chilling with another guy in a bar, will you immediately inform your dad that you just caught your mom chilling in a bar? with another man. Will you? Please quickly leave your comment below. And uh, it's your boy, Gay Adam Slink. Catch you, uh, as I catch you next time, I'm not going anywhere. We have so much to discuss, guys. You know, it's already used to me. Well, it's your boy, Gay Adam Slink. And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you guys are watching this video from, I hope you guys are doing great. If you are new to this channel, please try as much as possible to like this video, comment and share it with your friends. And if you are old, of course, you already know the drill. And some of you have not submitted your account number for the giveaway. I have about four names. People that haven't submitted their account number for the giveaway. Please, you guys shouldn't be tempting me now. I have a Saturday Samuel here who haven't submitted account number. I have Big Sam who haven't submitted account number. And I also have... A I also have a Joe Fab track. Okay, Joe Fab track. I've, I've sent in money. I also have a Dasika. I also have a Mickey. Mickey, you haven't submit account number. About four persons have not submit account number. You guys need to submit your account number so that I will sell you your money for this month giveaway, so that I can also share the other money from that guy as well. And also OSE, don't worry. I'm still doing investigation. You're going to get your money really, really, really soon. So, guys, uh, let's uh, move on. Now, I think other countries have fully admitted that Nigeria, Nigeria, uh, Nigerians are on top when it comes to this music thing. There's this guy that sent a very loving message. No one wants to say it, but I will say it. The Vido, Whiskey, Burner Boy, and now Ashake. Nigeria, thank you. Like, I went to the Ashake concert yesterday. That guy is a rock star. I'm so proud of him. This is my third time going to see Ashake. And I'm just, I'm so proud. Like, he's so good every time. He gives us all his heart, all his passion. He goes overtime, even though he has to pay 10000 for every minute, he goes overtime. And yes, he turned up late. But do you know why he turned up late, guys? 
for those that for those of you that went is because there were still loads of us outside that's how that's how much of an impact the o2 isn't big enough we need a bigger stadium because there were so many people outside so i think he gave us another 30 minutes to get inside so thank you ashake and your team and thank you for going over time at your own expense thank you nigeria for the talent like i'm, I'm so emotional talking about this because he was, he's just so good i had such a good time again for the third time in a row what's this woman what, what do you want i've parked my car what do you want you don't know i'm, I'm thanking ashake over here <sighs> that guy is from ghana taking time to thank ashake asake ashake asake for the good performance at uh, the O2 Arena, brought out uh, Whiskey and so many other superstars as well, most especially uh, Whiskey, and also took the time to appreciate other Nigeria talent. We are doing it big. We brought Africa uh, music to the world. We made it more bigger. We made it more lucrative. We made it more passionate. We made it more competitive. You know, but it's just so crazy that many other African countries do not, in a way, appreciate, at least show appreciation now, to say, thank you, Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nigeria. Nothing. If not, the only thing they show us is uh, criticism, discrimination, bringing us down. No, they only show us heal treatment. But meanwhile, the only thing we have, we have ever done from Nigeria is to uplift Africa, is to show solidarity, is to show togetherness, to show love. But the only thing we receive back are just heal treatment. No, always acting as if uh, we, we are not currently the wave of Africa. We are the wave of Africa. We are the drill of Africa. We are the fire that burns in Africa. If you remove Nigeria from Africa, I wonder what Africa will be. Honestly, just imagine a continent, Africa, without Nigeria. Just imagine. Very boring. You know? Extremely boring. I mean, extremely boring. So, it's good. You see somebody like him speaking with his mouth open, appreciating the the jollification we are bringing out from uh, Nigeria, the talent we are bringing out from Nigeria. We always say this, if not because of our bad government. Uh, see, uh, see, all of you now for the one they wrong call Nigeria, all of you now. But then again, thank you to that Ghana guy for really, really appreciating Asake. Now let's not talk about Asake, who spent the sum of four hundred thousand US dollars. 400,000 US dollars on a diamond chain. 400,000 US dollars. Go and do the calculation, guys. Let me help you to do the calculation on Google because I don't think my calculator can handle it. 400K, 400,000, 400,000 uh, dollar to Naira. Dollar to Naira. We are talking about 655 million Naira. 665 million. On official rate, oh, we are not talking about the black market. Oh. Official rate, 655 million bar. Official rate. On the diamond chain. You know me, financial freedom is important. Hmm? Financial freedom and not getting broke in the future is very, very important to all those uh, musicians. If you are buying any diamond, please, as a musician, make sure it's a registered one that has certificate. That one has a second value. It's not black market diamond. That's going to be you know, not that valuable. Because buying diamonds and buying a, 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 a rare stones are also a form of investment as well. Just like rare paints, just like buying gold, are also a form of investment as well.
So this is another form of investment for those of you who think Asake may have wasted that money on just looking fly. No, it's not all about looking fly. All those people, all those real deal, all those people that buy real diamond, or nobody, all those other artists so that buy second hand uh, diamonds, uh, something without certification. No, no. the real deal diamonds, eh? it's investments, massive investment. Massive investment, guys. Go and ask those who are selling gold. Go and ask those. As gold appreciates, your gold also appreciates. Go and ask those who are selling gold. So, diamond are also massive investment if you have the right source for it. Massive investment. So, people are kind of like bashing that they could spend such amount on diamonds. No bashing too much. Now, see, for as long as you can keep that diamond safe, it's something like a flashy car. A flashy car that you do not maintain. Just imagine a car that you do not maintain, that always appreciate. That's what diamond is about. Instead, somebody to buy a Lamborghini, a Rolls Royce, and we advise that person, I beg, use that money, buy diamond. Use it to buy diamond chain, make yourself fly, and when you are tired of it, you sell it. Yeah, that's my advice. Use it to buy yourself a diamond chain instead of buying that rose rice that are going to, after a few years, it, it, it already loses value. Use it to buy a diamond chain. You will get your second hand value sharply. So it's, a, it's another form of investment for Asake. And it's a good investment, guys. So no bash Asake. 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 Don't bash him, guys. Don't bash him. You know exactly what he's doing. And me, and I support him for that form of investment. Well, thank you guys for watching the boy Gadam's link. Catch you next time. Peace.